Hey everybody, Ron here. Just wanted to talk about Jeff Kahn, the final mace that was the previous weekend as I'm recording this. I went up to Charlotte to attend the small convention. And by small, I'm talking about something in the neighborhood of, you know, several hundred, typically like under a thousand. That's what I consider a small con. I mean, some people may have different definitions of what a small con is, but when you're accustomed to going to Dragon Con, uh, less than a thousand is a small con. The one thing about Jeff Con, the final mace, and mace in general, uh, this was my first one, but what appealed to me is that it is primarily RPG Con, although there was board gaming, there was war gaming. So I went up there, registration was pretty smooth, um, the whole convention was in a single venue in the hotel, which you could uh, register to stay in, which I did, so that made transportation easy. As a matter of fact, I didn't leave the hotel once I got there the entire weekend. On that Friday when I got up there, I played ECG6 for the first time, and I fell in love with that system. Man. I've been obsessed with the system. I might do an, an overview about it um, on the channel soon here. But it's pretty simple. If you haven't heard about it, the GM called the Rabble Rouser sets a difficulty anywhere from 2 to 6, and then you roll a single die. And if you hit that target or more, you succeed. Otherwise, you fail. You have uh, boons, which lets you roll two dice and get the higher, and banes, which makes you roll two dice and get the lower. That mechanic might sound familiar to some of you. And that's basically the game. The magic system intuitive, but I'm not going to really get into it right now. It isn't a video about EZD6. It's about the con. I really love the game, and uh, I can't wait to play it more. I actually ran a one-shot for two of my friends locally uh, yesterday, and they loved it too. I'm excited to see what comes from all of this uh, EGD6 excitement. So one of the guys was like, you know, where can I find a book? Exactly. That's exactly how I felt. That was my first game on Friday. And then in the evening, I played Marvel Dice Throne. I own Marvel Dice Throne. I did say there was some board gaming that was happening there. And there was, you know, some serious board gaming there. But I noticed that there was a lot of board games that are I consider it light, and that's fine. The next morning, I got up and I played a really interesting game. It was titled Stride Dies Tonight. And this guy named Tim, I met him on Discord playing in the Elf Marches ICRPG game that will be closing down soon. And I played with him and a couple other guys from that Discord. We've become internet friends, and it was really cool to meet those guys. We played basically the Ravenloft module. In Index Card RPG, he had a pretty cool thing where you had the map is uh, a modular set of index cards and different magic items were cards that you um, had to find when you explored the, the castle, of course. And he had a timer for the entire session. It was a four hour block. And like each hour, the difficulty increased by one. So we met Stride in the final hour and we had the items that we needed to defeat him. And it was a tough fight, but the way that it ended was one of the players decided that he was going to try to take Strahd's sword from his hand. And so it was like, going to be really hard to do it. He rolls a natural 20, so he takes it. And then following up with that, he's like, I attack Strahd. Now, Strahd has a Vorpal sword. And you know what happens when you roll a natural 20? You decapitate the victim. And that's what happened to Strahd, and that's how we defeated Strahd. And it was an awesome, climactic conclusion to the game. And I will never forget that game. It was my first time ever playing Ravenloft in any form. And I was intrigued. So that was that game. After that, I uh, met up with Professor Dungeon Master of the Dungeon Craft channel. Hey, Dan. And um, he ran McDeath for me and two of the guys that were in that stride game. And let me tell you. He's a real deal as far as dungeon mastering is concerned. Now, you know, he said that in with Macbeth, which is a, a fantasy game that's loosely based on the, the Shakespeare play Macbeth, is Macbeth with orcs and what other things. I don't want to spoil it, but uh, he said while well, he was running a an express version of his Deathbringer system. But really, like, I know I've read Extreme Dungeon Mastery XDM, that XDM book, and I know the system, and I know what you're doing. I know what you did. We still had, we had a ton of fun. I really thought that I learned a lot about 
just really putting yourself into a game and all this kind of stuff, just watch, watching him. Um, he truly is a master at dungeon mastering. So I had a lot of fun playing one of the characters there. So that was, that was my Saturday afternoon. Then I ended up playing another game with some of the guys I knew from Discord. It was some micro game. You were playing the familiars of a witch who was killed by a witch hunter. And you had the opportunity to bring her back to life if you go and kill the witch hunter. And so it's kind of a weird thing for me because I'm not into those types of games usually when playing a familiar or a fairy or whatever. You know, I played it and you know, I had fun with that and everything like that. That was, I think that was it for Saturday. But I had a great time talking to people and um, you know, meeting people, different YouTubers. I met, like I said, Dan, the Professor Dungeon Master. I met uh, Baron from Dungeon Masterpiece. I met Jim, the tabletop engineer, who I knew was local because he lives on the other side of town from me. So that was cool. I'm subscribed to his channel. I love his his uh, playthroughs of uh, five parsecs from home and five leagues from the borderland. And uh, I keep up with that stuff. I don't know if I shook hands with DM Scotty, but I met DM Scotty. You can't miss that guy with his, his flowing, you know, gray white locks and gregarious nature. It just seemed like a really cool dude. Oh, it seemed to be really cool and everything like that. I met Brandish Gilhelm, Hankering Farinell, or whatever he calls himself, uh, from the Rune Hammer channel, author of the Index Card RPG himself. He's a pretty cool guy. I met some of the shield wall in person. So we took a group picture. So I just had, I had a blast. I thought I had a lot of fun at Dice Tower East and I did, but like this was my favorite con experience of the year, you know, cause I've done a couple of small cons, Atlanta Game Fest. I did Dice Tower East. Um, I skipped Dragon Con this year and then, uh, the, then this one. And so, yeah. That was uh, my con experience. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. And Sunday morning, I was able to get in the game of regular Dice Throne. So I had never played the regular version of Dice Throne, but it's it's basically the same mechanic mechanically as Marvel Dice Throne. So that was that. So that was my recap. One of the people that follows my Facebook page asked me about Strahd. And so I gave an overview of what happened with the Strahd game and how and how it handled. I mean, it, it didn't, it, it wasn't rocket science, but it was still innovative. You know, it's, you know, each room was an index card that the guy had illustrated. So that was neat. The items that you need to defeat Stride, they, it was randomly determined, but that's the way that it works in the normal Ravenloft game anyway. And so you could also just find other random magic items. And so those were represented with cards i'm assuming that tim made that was cool so it makes the adventure really replayable it was index card rpg and if you play that before you know i've reviewed it you have an idea of how that plays and that was basically it and it just made for a fun time that's what i got for you so what's next here for the channel i'm pretty sure i'm going to cover easy d6 i'm also going to cover axe adventure conqueror king system because I just wrapped up volume one of Exile and Thief, my Sword and Sorcery campaign, using those rules. And that's all I got for you for now. I mean, aside from this video, my, my convention recap. Onwards and upwards. Until next time, see you later.